Hello, I'm Andrew Bonney from BBC Research and Development, and I'm joined today by Richard Hasty from NVIDIA, and we're going to be hoping to provide a bit of an introduction to the Easy EasyMOS tool that Richard's developed uh, and could help you to get used to uh, the EMOS specifications and how to interact with them. So to kick things off, uh, Richard, uh, could you tell us a little bit about Easy EasyMOS and who might benefit from it? Hi, fantastic, great to meet you. Um, so Easy EasyMOS is um, a tool that was developed internally within NVIDIA several years ago, but now has been made um, open source. And essentially what it is, is an implementation that allows you to bring all of the NMOS components together and the NMOS testing tool in a simple installable mechanism to actually get you started very, very quickly. Essentially, you have a NMOS registry, an NMOS controller, and an NMOS virtual node. So you have all of the NMOS ecosystem needed for test and development. And you also have the AMWA NMOS testing tool to allow you to do full testing to all of the test suite. Great. So could you tell us a little bit more about how Easy EasyMOS came about and uh, how it's evolved over time? Okay, so Easy EasyMOS is something that NVIDIA um, have been developing for over two years now. And it's based on the fact that we believe that um, EMOS should be simple and easy to deploy using technologies such as microservices. Now, the easy EasyMOS implementation is actually an evolution of open source software work that we've done, that Sony has done, and Amwa have done themselves over the years. And I've presented um, on this at the IP showcase back in 2019, and I've included the links here to the original presentation where we... Um, launched the first version of this, which was basic, a basic NMOS registry inside a container. But since then, the technologies have evolved. And what we've done is we've taken the containers and actually now evolved them so that they support what is known as multi-arc technologies. This means that they are compiled not just for x86 platforms, but they're compiled for ARM, 32 and ARM 64-bit platforms, which means that essentially they can be pretty much run on anything, whether that's a Raspberry Pi, whether that's a server, whether that's an NVIDIA Ethernet switch, it, it basically can run on, on anything. And since then, we've also looked at the usability. So, so not only is it just an NMOS registry, we've now included an NMOS controller, and a virtual node implementation. And we've also included the AMWA EMOS testing suite inside the Easy EasyEmos um, implementation. So that sounds a lot, but what we've done is to make this easy for us to use and for others to use, we've implemented this using Docker Compose. So basically it's now a single YAML file that launches the whole ecosystem. And this is why we launched the Easy EasyEnmos um, implementation, because what we're hoping is that this is going to allow um, industry developers to jump into this from a development and test perspective. And we're also hoping that customers or users of EnmOS technology can also use this to jump into it to actually validate and prove out their MMOS based solutions as well. Now, the important thing is that this is completely open source. Everything that's been done is based on the Apache 2 license. So it's free for people to go and use and develop and expand. And everything that we've done in the Easy EasyEnmos implementation has been actually based on open source software from Sony and Amwa themselves. So again, even the roots of these containers are actually free and open for everybody to use. So hopefully it's a great tool 
that people can really accelerate their MNOS developments with.